Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to September. Welcome to a new week, a new month, a new look. I wanted to change things up a little bit and put some paint on the walls. Some, a uh, little bit of color splash here and there. Getting things looking good. I hope everyone's having a good September so far. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Um, I've updated the bit goals. I've kind of changed around my look a little bit, as you can see. Part of it's still unrefined. There's some bits I don't have finished yet. Um, like, I don't have Vagrant Vision enabled yet. I'm going to do that this afternoon after the stream, uh, after this stream, and then I'll have it done for this evening, uh, which is going to be... Um, uh, here's the storm night. Standard Tuesday night. Um, I've been getting bad about updating my schedule on my website. I need to actually go do that. I will probably do that between this and next stream as well. Um, today we're going to be doing World of Warcraft. I'm, I got no idea. A new notion. Um, that I'm going to, uh, try and see if I can take advantage of. Um, something I've always wanted to do. But we can go into that in just a minute. Uh, I hope everybody's doing good. We've got some folks that are in, uh, work lurk mode. <laughs> and I, I... Thank you very much for watching. Um, otherwise, um, I'm here to just relax, sit back, hang out with you folks, have fun. It's an awesome background. Wait a minute, which one? The camera background or the, the bigger background? I, I The camera background, I, I really like the white kind of moving. I have a lot of these and I'm going to be going through them. I got like 40 or 50 now. I've stockpiled from a couple of different websites. Uh, 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 visual loops is what they're called. Uh, but yeah, I love them. How you doing, bird crap? What's going on? They complement each other. I tried real hard on that. Um, the scheme is like green and white. The design that I'm using. This is, by the way, a template from Streamlabs. It's just click, 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 and it's there. Um, it took me less than five minutes to set it up. Then it was like a lot of little fine tuning and making thing, making sure things are in the right part of the screen and stuff like that, and you know, getting the audio settings right, all the other little fiddly things. My hip decided to act up, so I'm here first for about twenty seconds. Says Eridani. I forgot to check. Yeah, okay. Never mind. The bitrate settings don't get messed with. Um, yay. I'm going to actually go over here, and we can talk over here. Um, that is not the right alert. Hmm. Hang on a sec. I got to check something. Just bear with me just a second. Something has gone cattywampus. Um, well, come on, you goofy website. My cat just ran off in terror from something invisible. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Active. Into the shapes. Yeah, why is, um, uh, okay. Super weird. A different kind of an alert was supposed to come up. Um, let's try this one more time. There we go. That is a tad loud. But I can refine it a little bit later. Um, whole bunch of these got turned off. Give me just a second. Silly me. This is how new this is. I was setting this up. Um, uh, as I was still tweaking things as of like five minutes ago. So, well, five minutes before stream time. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing good on this fun Tuesday. I hope your, you know, air is clear and your 
Eyes are open and generally awake and having things going okay. Except for Ferg, who apparently threw his hip out. Um, Bedford, no, no, not. Raids. Uh, sh sure. Why not? Let's see what that does. I'm going to turn a thing on that I haven't turned on before. Okay. Um, delayed Mondays. Yes, exactly. Maybe I have a case of the Tuesdays. Poor Ferg. 100 bits because it's been about 20 seconds. Well, you're, you're second place now. Um, uh, here, Donnie. I'm not puking, so that's a good thing. How's the food poisoning, by the way? Did you ever figure out what it was? Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Ferg says, it's raining here, but at least I'm watching Jurassic Park. It rains in Jurassic Park, too. I remember that toilet scene. Um, <laughs> okay. I have a thing that I want to do. I am, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm watching some of these settings to make sure they're behaving. Um, goals, lore, the lore master. I actually have, a, wait a minute, which achievement is that? Hang on a sec. Also, hi, Cuts, how are you? Still my favorite scene, yes. A T-Rex eating a guy off a toilet. I figured that would be your your, your favorite scene. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want to see if I could do this with one character. I'm curious to see if that goal is achievable. There's the wife. I'm still not getting. Let me change between scenes here. Um, it's supposed to be working. Okay, I'll have to ask if it doesn't behave. That's what I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what you're supposed to look like. On the board for the next five minutes until Aridani shoots you off. And I'm third. <laughs> on for tonight. Awesome. You're going to pull it. join us for Heroes of the Storm. Are you back home or are you still uh, on the West Coast? It doesn't matter either way as long as you can still, as long as you can still play with us. Woohoo. Um, hey, Preach, how was your weekend? Aside from the car thing. I'm saying 10 minutes for me. Okay. Oh, 10 on the board for 10 minutes. Eh, we'll see. Uh, still Maurice for another two weeks. Wow. Okay. Well, awesome. You'll have to fix your tracker thingy. My tracker thingy. Oh yeah, it's messed up. Hold on. All sorts of stuff is messed up. Uh, it is not supposed to be. Here. I'm going to turn this on. Go to here. Actually, you know what I think is going on? Okay, give, give me just a second here. Okay. Um, this is not me soliciting for bits, but does anybody have a bit? I'm curious if it'll work. We'll let it sit. Tracker's fixed. Some part of my profile wasn't loading. Nope, still not working right. I mean, part of it's right. The goal is correct, but the alert's not kicking in, and I don't know why. It must be something on Streamlabs' end. Um, alerts wise, um, let's see, um, I don't know, I'm not going to worry about it right now, bits are working, we're live, I'll worry about it later. Like, bits is in parts, not bits is in bits. Um, that's complicated. And thank you, Preach. Um, yeah, my tracker thing did, did get reset. I have set it, because you're crazy, to 20,000 bits for September. That's 5,000 a week, roughly. I'm actually not sure how many weeks are in September, but whatever. Um, it ends on September 30th. It's 20,000 bits total. 
Uh, that's where we're at right now. Uh, I do not expect to fill it. Whatever. Uh, anyway, and also, I do want to say real quick. Let's over here real quick. Thank you very, very much. Everybody that supports me and supports this channel. All of the content, what I do, what I can keep doing. Uh, uh, the game nights with the community. Uh, stuff like this, like uh, Lore Seekers in uh, WoW and doing... Um, <laughs> just sitting around and messing with Hearthstone puzzles which is probably going to be a stream tomorrow, but it might be late. I don't know. We'll see. Um, in general, it's all because of you, wonderful people. Patreon support, uh, subscriptions, and bit donations here on Twitch. I really do love all your faces, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Um, on with the show. The alert goes ding, and the animation pops up on screen. Do you have it set to... No, it's supposed to look different. Do You, do, you saw how the alert looked, right? It looked like a normal bit alert. It should look like this. But for some reason, it's not. And I think I have a setting wrong. I'll figure it out after the stream. Um, basically. <laughs> Those Hearthstone puzzles are tough. Yes, they are. Um, extremely tough. And um, they are... It's kind of fun how tough they are. But I definitely had a lot of help from the uh, from the viewers and the audience at home because of getting through some of them. There were several that were just the the solution made no sense even after I knew the solution. It did not make sense as to why it worked. So yeah, it's really weird. Anyway, so that's Borked, and I like the new theme. Thank you. There's there's uh if I do see there's followers. -da 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 -da. That's a default from Streamlabs. So is everything else. Like, this is a Streamlab default. Except for the animated background behind me. That's all me. But otherwise. Yeah, and uh, so I will get the alerts fixed after the stream. It's fine. I probably did something extremely simple. Um, so, one thing I've always wanted to do. In... Let's pause that. Uh, in WoW, music, looped music. I'm actually going to do 30. Um, actually, I'm not going to loop the music. Ambiance and sound effects are going to be a little medium. I want dialogue to be a little higher. Okay. Okay. Red Sharp is here. The animated background fits that scene really well. Thank you. I worked very hard in pairing those two up. Um, Wolf on. Playing one bit. Yeah, see? It looks boring. I think I have a setting wrong. I don't know why. I'm just got to figure out what it is. Um, so, yeah. The, um... Preach made me an awesome icon last night. It's glorious. I dare ask what dare I ask what it is. I'm almost afraid to. Uh, so one thing I've always wanted to do in World of Warcraft, especially after all these years, there's so many expansions from uh, Burning Crusade and Cataclysm. Uh, 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 the uh, oh gosh, um, Wrath of the Lich King, Legion, Warlords of Draenor, Mists of Pandaria, all these different expansions. There's big chunks of story that I've missed because they come out with a new expansion. They give you a level booster and you get a lower level character and boost them up to the level of the new expansion. I've got characters that have skipped lots of content. My nice undead warlock is the first character I made on this server. Uh, we started on a hort on an alliance server, uh, but we discovered that we didn't like alliance because they're too namby pamby. <laughs> so we went over to a horde server. Well, we went over to horde on a different server, but I do have some alliance characters that are my first characters. Ozzy was the first character that I actually made on the Horde side. It was probably about a month after release. And uh, uh, he is an undead warlock, and he is a wrecking, one-man wrecking crew. Um, Priest says, I made a thing. Um, I'm helping with a shovel. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Um... Ozzy has skipped levels at various points in time because of boosters. Uh, my monk, 
I started him out and made him and then skipped him up to Mists of Pandaria when it came out. I made him in Pandaria and got him up to, I don't know, 10 or 20 and then boosted him up to um, uh, whatever, you know, Pandaria levels were and then plowed through a War- Warlords of Draenor with him. But there's even some Warlords of Draenor content I missed with him just because I, I was, you know, leaving areas when I got out of the level range for that area. I moved on. And I'm trying to change the mindset with a new character. I want to make a new tune that intentionally sp- stays behind. Um, Red Sharp says, I just started playing uh, the other day. What server are you on? Do you know? Can you tell me? I'm on Blackhand. Uh, it says so right up here. Um, when I started playing, I made an Undead Warlock too, says Ferg. Yeah. And it's funny. You know, I use the color purple so much in a lot of things I do for, you know, just generally everywhere. Um... Uh, the class color on icons for Warlock is purple. So, yeah. Um, But yeah, I've always wanted to, I've kind of always wanted to get a character and take them all the way through now. You know, all the way through the old world progression, as much of it as I can do. I'm not going to hit 100%. I would love to get that Lore Seeker badge, but I'm not going to hit 100%. There's going to be some dungeons I'm going to miss. Um, you know, some raid stuff I just can't do anymore because either the raids don't exist or, um, I, it's hard to do raid looking for raid pickup groups. That, that is a thing, but it's hard. So I'm, I'm going to do the best I can, but I'm going to try and stick around for the story and learn more. The really big thing that I'm trying to figure out is let's get on the, uh, let's get on the horde side. I want to make a rogue. I'm pretty sure that I want to do rogue. The two classes that I don't really have. Um, I've got everything except a priest, a rogue, and a shaman. These three right here, I don't have. I'm not... I see a lot of shaman. Um, a fair amount. Not tons, but, you know, shamans seem interesting. They're part healer, part DPS, part melee. But I've got a, a, a plus 100 level plus druid now. And they're the same thing. In different style, but it's the same goal. They're the kind of jack of all trades. I don't think I want another jack of all trades. Priests are interesting. But um, big chunks of priests class kind of depend upon being grouped up with others. Uh, and I could push push a, a, a priest up to level 10 pretty easily. And then make them a shadow priest, which is basically offensive, real easy for soloing. Don't know if that's my thing, though. Uh, rogue. I've always kind of wanted a rogue. Never made one. Azura, I think. Okay. Hey, Night Pirate, what's going on? I'm double drinking it, by the way. I've got coffee and my old alma mater mug, STFU. Um, but I've also got... Nice big Arnold Palmer set up. I cannot wait to dip into this. It's going to be fun. Fun on a bun. Uh, so, yeah, I want to make a rogue. I Pretty much that's half of the equation. Race class, right? Um, I'm actually not even dead set on a dude. I can make a lady. Um, I don't like orcs because I, I just... They're orcs. Orcs are so generic. Orcs are in all fantasy stuff now. Orcs and elves. The only reason these elves are interesting is because they're, they're like night elves. But their alliance, not Horde. I could make, this is the classic kind of, a, you know, blonde, vanilla, pale skin, kind of a, you know, long pointy ears, kind of an elf. But eh, I've got some other Blood Elves characters. I've got two of them, as a matter of fact. Um, I absolutely love the Pandarans, but I've got two pandas. I don't need a third. Um, trolls. Eh. The Tauren, I would not be against. But they can't be rogues because, well, they're giant cows. Um, I'm kind of thinking about making a goblin rogue. Goblins have a lot of class abilities. Where is it? More info. They have a lot of class abilities like being able to summon a bank. They have a guy, a childhood friend that comes back to them and follows them through their adventures. And they can call on this guy and he just shows up wherever you are. And you can use him as access to your bank, which is super amazing. Um... Fun fact, orc is the Norwegian word, which means uh, a bother or tiresome. That's funny. Well, fun. Moo, says the wife. I would love to make a Tauren rogue because I think it would be hilarious. 
Um, once upon a time, I made a pen and paper role-playing game called uh, Mana Punk. And we have Minotaurs in that. And you can be a Minotaur rogue. You can make it work if you try hard enough. I made one called Thud. The Thundering Silence. But anyway. I'm pretty sure I want to make a rogue. I'm 95% sure on that one. I'm thinking Goblin. I'm not dead set. I can do Panda Rogue. I think it's a little weird. But I can do it. I could make a suave and stylish Blood Elf Rogue. But I already want to smack Blood Elves bad enough. I, I don't need more reasoning for it. I've never really paid attention to it. I've made one Goblin, and I didn't really pay attention to the starting zone at the time. Um, I kind of powered them through real quick. I think this could be interesting. Chance to experience their starting zone and kind of get out of that into the overworld and start experiencing some of the other zones. Torn Rogue, where's the beef? Yes, exactly. Can you tell me once you have noticed the panda sneaking up on you in real life? What? You mean like I've been made a panda rogue? <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. Okay, here's the joke. I see loads of monks. This is what my main, one of my main characters. I kind of oscillate back and forth between Ozzy and Vagram. Um, Vagram is a panda monk and he's a badass. He is a, I, he, he is basically, uh, a, a whirling dervish of, of capability. He can be, uh, an amazing tank. He can be amazing DPS and he can be a, an above average healer. He will never be an amazing healer because monks just aren't wired that way, but they can be really good. They can be second or third best healer in the group every single time consistently. Um, monks are amazing. I see tons of monks. I see lots of warlocks. Easy to spot them. Druids, tons of druids. I see loads of death knights. I really, really do. Tons of demon hunters, fair number of mages, loads of hunters. I almost never see any paladins, but I kind of hate paladins. Um, I see a fair number of warriors, but like when it comes to actually characters, ugh, Worgen, weird. Um, when it comes to characters like classes, I almost never... What was the widest selection of classes? Nope. Nope. Um, I almost never see... Let me think about this. Shaman? I don't see that much. Not anymore. I do see them periodically. You'll see somebody throw a totem down. But for the most part, it's one here, one there. Whereas you can run across three warlocks within the same little square footage of a jungle in the middle of nowhere on accident or hunters or, or, you know, whatever, um, or druids, tons of druids. I almost never see warriors, but I, I don't want to make a warrior. I already have a warrior and he's my bank alt for a reason. Um, I almost never see any shamans, not really. And I almost never see any rogues. Now the joke could be said that you never see any rogues cause they're doing it right. There is something to that, but I've always been curious about the class and it's been overhauled so many times. It's supposed to be very good now. Don't know. Play an elemental shaman, begin the suffering, enter my hell, says Cuts. No. <clears throat> Hi, Morby. Um, uh, you will never notice that the panda snuck up on you in real life. They have excellent rogues in real life. Cuteness is just a cover. So what you're saying is actually all Chinese pandas are trained assassins. Uh, Night Pirate says, no cows, I have bad dreams about the cow level from Diablo 3. Dude, I have bad dreams about the cow level from Diablo 1 and 2. Ooh. Um, I'm thinking Goblin. And I'm thinking Rogue. Um, I think it's silly. They have an alchemy skill, potion healing increased. They get a natural to alchemy skill, but there's actually a kind of crafting skill called engineering, and there's a variant of it called goblin engineering. Why wouldn't goblins get a bonus to that? I don't know. It just, whatever. Uh, I remember a thing from a D&D thread I read once. Half-ogre thief with high intimidate got found breaking into someplace and intimidated the guard so well the guard went blind. You see nothing, he bellowed. Yes. Such things in old school, older D&D versions are possible. You cannot do that. Now. Oh, I've been disconnected. How rude. Give me a sec. I dawdled at character creation. Way a bit too much. 
They're pretty firm about, you know, not hanging out on character select anymore. I think that's funny, by the way. Okay, here we go. So, I think I'm going to do... Goblin Lady? Rogue? Eh. I'll do a guy. I can make them look uglier. Um, okay. Skin color. Can we? We cannot zoom in at all. Oh, God. Okay. Um, this guy's got some severe 5 o'clock shadow going on. I don't know what any of these are. I'm going with the darkest and ruddiest I can find. Face! We get to zoom in some. I'm looking for something scowly. That seems not very hard. That one seems scowly. Beady little eyes. Haircut. Okay, this is where I decide how dumb I want to be. I think I'm wearing helmets the rest of your life anyway. I do not want a goblin with a receding hairline and a comb over. Nope. Eh. Comb over. Not doing a comb over. No. Receding hairline, maybe. I don't know. That That's a top knot. That's super weird. Is it possible to make a league guild in WoW? It is possible to make a league guild in WoW. They also have social spaces that I think exist across servers. So we could make a social group in WoW where people could talk even if you're not on the same server. That's a thing. Um. Yeah, top knot I'm not big on. I could see that, maybe. I just, I don't like the ponytails. I would go something like that. Or, um. Like that is pretty interesting. <clears throat> I think it's funny that the, a lot of the mohawks don't exist. There's like one mohawk. That one. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Then we go hair color. I'm thinking bl blonde? No. Black hair. I don't even know what those are. I'd love to have descriptions on these Blizzard. It'd be awesome. Yep, I'm going black. That's obviously black. Ears! You can get really big ears with decoration. Ears that point up. Ears that hang down. Small ears, big ears. Why is a nose ring in the ears category? That seems a little... I'm thinking a smaller eared goblin would have an easier time uh, fitting his head into certain helmets and gear. It just looks like a bad ear, man. That's actually pretty good. I like that one. I like the kind of the European ones. Um, comb overs are cool. I wear a comb over now, says Will Fawn. Hey, Hansi, what's going on? I know someone who wants to play again, but only if they have a good guild to play with. Well, I mean, that's a thing, right? I have characters in a guild that is run by me and my brother. Uh, it's called Scoth. If they want to make a character on Black Hands, they would have to be on the same server as me. Then they could actually talk, chat, they could group up with us, we could get some stuff going. But, um, do their ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Yeah, they do. That sounds a, a, a league guild. Sounds a bit like legal? What? Um, but yeah, if they want to make a, a character on Black Hand in the US, that becomes a problem though, is that there's so many different servers. Some people want to make one on the server they've had characters on. And they don't want to move to a new server. That's problem number one. Problem number two is uh, like Cuts. Cuts would have to buy a completely separate copy from North America and register it here. Trunks would have to do the same thing. If they want to do that, they can. But then it becomes they, they're going to be completely starting over from scratch. They can't even mail themselves stuff between servers. And they would have to... Um, uh, 
Yeah, it does, Night Pirate. Uh, I think that's the point, though. Um, I'm going to name him Streamio. Wow, that name took. That's scary. Okay. Uh, Streamio the Rogue. I'm going to bump him up a few notches. Bloop. Bloop. We're going to pay attention to him a lot. I have no clue where this starting zone is. I'm, if I remember right, goblins start on an island? I don't know. I will be moving to Blackhand, says says Red Sharpie. Then, if I don't have a pre-existing guild to invite you in, we can make a new one. One of those two solutions will exist. But basically, I need to talk to my brother. He's probably online now, uh, named Kernos, and uh, see if we can work from there. Um, losing all my hard-earned feats of strength, which are no longer obtainable. I get that, Cuts. I do. But, I mean, there's that European divide that we it's uncrossable Boiling otherwise. I can't even request a transfer to Europe. Lived in relative peace for generations. So. Though some of their race sided with the marauding orcs during the Second War, oh. most goblins have remained neutral throughout the various conflicts between the Alliance... Forgot to turn on cinematic subtitles. Ruled over by corrupt yet highly affluent trade princes, the goblins created a virtual paradise for themselves throughout the islands of the South Seas. Their ingenious feats of engineering and vast trade fleets helped make their island capital of Kazan one of the great technological wonders of the world. But now, as the elements themselves rise up in anger across the world, the goblins' mechanical paradise will be put to the test. For very soon, fate will force them to choose sides in a conflict that will shape the very history of the world. Okay. Dun dun dun. Um, I'm gonna do some stuff real quick. Um, class based, high resolution. Thank you. Physical DPS. More bars and icons. Okay, finished. Woo! I'm going to set up some mod, some add-ons real quick. I do use add-ons. I have just a few that I use that are really important to me because they make my life easier. Um. Yeah, so continue. V5. Continue. What? I think it's interesting that it undoes one of the um, chat things for one of the other mods. Um, we're going to do that. There's going to be yes. That. Set up add-ons. Finished. Reload. Whee! Thankfully, all this stuff, I only have to do it once on a character. Um. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, real quick. I need to go down here. There we go. I'm going to turn this off. Enable. Accept. Hilfon says, you're all welcome to drop in over here. And yeah, I'm, I'm with the wife. I wonder how long it would take to wear out our welcome. Uh, go away. Okay. So, I'm going to get this and move it over here, and then lock it in place. I have mm -mm, options, UI scale 125%, arrow 125%, this helps me find stuff. Um, whole bunch of it I don't have to worry about though right now. Quests, I have no quests. Mm. What 
else do I have to mess with? I don't think I got to mess with anything. Oh, I do have to mess with something else. Hang on a sec. Um, right click to change settings. Okay. Enable tooltip information. No. Um. So here's the part where having a pre-existing character kind of helps you helps you out a little bit easier. I have heirlooms. So what I can do, I can make some stuff. Um I can't remember and dual wield two of these? Oh, I cannot. Okay. Uh, then let's do one of those. Waha! Now I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to toss. Uh, um, this is where having a characters that have bought a certain amount of stuff and they have a certain amount of money and they've played a certain amount of time. Makes it a lot easier. Thank you very much for the bits, Damien. What's going on? How's your day going? Um, I don't think this is going to be useful to me. I can't remember. I even have one lone mount that I can use. So many rides, so little time. Here we go. Um... I have a chauffeured motorcycle. This is Hoburn. These are my orc chauffeur. Uh, totally stupid. Anyway. Um, okay. I wonder why you had chicken noises in WoW. It's coop life running minimized uh, behind my laptop. Squawk? Exactly. Uh, if you want to make a character in Black Hand, I'd love to have the company. Um, I've got characters of all levels, all capabilities. Almost to the toilet scene. Perk's watching Jurassic Park also. Yeah? What do you want? Um. Lost, oh, wait a minute. Whoop, wait a minute. Add-ons. Immersion. This is actually, I like, uh, it's an interface that I like a lot better for uh, the uh, quest quest dialogue and stuff. You'll see why in a minute. I think the motorcycle guys running around the newbie area is annoying. I do too, actually. Um, I'm of the same mindset. Uh, I try not to abuse it too much. Okay. Let's see. I have a rocket barrage. I have a rocket jump, and then I can basically stab somebody. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Sub Subject 9. I, do, I think that's a raptor. Okay. Oh, Hobart Grapple Hammer. I know what this guy is later in the game. What's going on, Hobart? I have no clue what you're making. Uh, I'm supposed to go outside and talk to somebody. Whee! See, here's the thing. In the goblin zone, you get this. By the way, that's Goblin Jen. That's an interesting name. You get this ride, and it seats three people, but two of them are your NPC friends, your buddies. And then they take it away from you as soon as you get off the island. You don't get to keep it, which I think is kind of a tease and a ripoff, but mm, whatever. What? Uh, Goblin Trainer. Okay. Move it. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll, I'll move it. I'm going to go over here and talk to the foreman. Mr. Foreman? Makes sense. Everything's going great. Y yeah. Sassy's incentive. What's that? A gift from Sassy? I hope it's a bonus. Ah! Not a bonus, dude. Okay. Trouble in the mines. You've got trouble down in the uh, Kaja mine again, boss. Uh, the tunneling worms have returned, and they're literally eating away at the Kaja, tr the trading company's profits. Kajamite mining is down, which is negatively impacting our production of Kaja Cola. It's an actual drink, but it makes you do weird stuff. I tried calling the exterminator, but he's fled with the last payment we gave him. Uh, do you uh, think you could head into the three mines and take care of it? 
I'd help, but I still haven't attended the cartel mandated fighter training simulator. I mean, seminar. Sure. I failed. I've tried to meet our Kajikola quotas, but you no troll slaves these days. Good help is hard to find. I think your personal touch is called for a shock from a battery on your goblin all-in-wonder belt should <laughs> do the trick. Adjust your at their attitudes, and the rest will fall in line. Uh, okay, weird. This place is super strange. I don't think there's it's any other quest. Road. Yeah, it's got to go down here. And here's the mine where you have to go straighten out. Um, at least let them turn the sound off for them. Yeah, I, I am surprised there's not an add-on that mutes some of the other sound effects. Um, by the way, these guys, I don't even know what race they are, but this is, you have a friend that is one of these, and uh, he's the guy that shows up a as your bank buddy. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Adjust some troll attitudes. Zap, zap. Get back to work, buddy. Don't tease me, man. I don't know why they're all Jamaican. It seems racist. Um, defiant troll. Breaks over. Yeah. <coughs> ah. Sneeze ambush. Ah. <laughs> Report you to HR. Yeah, you go do that, buddy. Um, I do like the attitude of the goblins. They're very tenacious, very, you know, fighty. Um, they don't like taking crap from anybody. They're very conniving and sneaky. Um, what the heck? These guys over here dancing. Get back to work. Slacker. You get back to work. Don't tease me, man. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going, I'm going. Attitude's adjusted. There we go. Tunneling worms slain. Where would those be? In the tunnels, maybe. Let's go check. New troll here. Uh, thank you, preacher. Aha! A worm. What kind of worm is that? No. Stop. Let's see if I can blast it with a rocket. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Um, nope. All the little things that you forget to turn on. Uh, social. Nope. Display? Nope. Combat? Controls! Auto loot. Hold shift not to. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I have rockets. Goblins have rockets. Um, it's on a timer. 46 seconds left. It's about a one minute timer. Huh. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Would zap you if I could, buddy, but my taser's out of batteries. Uh, tool tips. Yeah, hide while in combat. Why is that not working? I don't know. Not gonna worry about it. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I really like this mod. This is a mod called LVI ELB. Um, where's the... Meh, whatever. It's called LVI. It's got tons of information. Like, this has recommended zones for level ranges. Um, where you can go hunting, what stuff has what things for what levels. It's actually usually pretty good. I can left-click on this to bring up the world map if I want to. I can right-click to bring up the configuration window. Um, let's see. Uh, I can... Sh uh, shift left click to send my actual current current coordinates to chat if I want to do control click to toggle data te texts oh, the things on the side anyway it's really nice I like it there's loads of other information dotted about the screen uh, really easy to find stuff 
uh, like volumes here, how much bag space I've got, equipment durability, my frame rate, all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, longsword and dagger, and what armor are you wearing? I have to wear leather because I'm a I'm a, a rogue. I don't know if they get heavier armor later on, but I start off with leather. And yeah, I have a sword and dagger in offhand. You cannot dual sword, apparently. It's a bit too much. Dumb. One more. Eat rockets. There we go. And I'm already level two. Let's get the heck out of here. Go turn the quest in. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Um, yep. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to trot up here. And go see what the uh, mind boss has to say now. Um, but yeah, if you make a, her a character, you will have to make it on black hand. And it would have to be a horde character. But um, if you want to come on over, quickly, join me. Quickly. Hey there, boss man. Uh, this batch of troll slaves has got to be the worst yet. Uh, lucky for us, the Kajamite doesn't seem to be making their soft brains any smarter. Trouble in the mines. Good riddance to those pests, and I get a warm, a worn vest. A tunnel worm vest. Oh, gross. I would have gotten an, a piece of armor upgraded, I mean, made out of tunnel worm skin. Um, and then good help is hard to find. I'm sure that in no time at all, we'll be talking about the great and powerful, uh, all talking about the great and powerful, and may I add extremely wealthy trade prince Streamio. What? Maybe? Sassy's been writing me to supply some Kaji Cola for the party that's being thrown in my honor later today. Um, uh, oops, was it supposed to be a surprise you didn't hear it from me? Anywho, with production down the last few days, this is all that I managed to get made. Uh, would you take it? Sure. And I'm going to go over here. Preach, I have now submitted that icon. Here's hoping. Yeah. Um, I ain't getting paid to chat. I uh, expect it to explode as soon as you hand it to her. Uh, we need more Kajikola than this. I swear I'm going to fire Damp Wick if I, uh, I don't kill him first. Uh, just so you know, you'll find Kajikola all over town. Bill's Water Cartel's best selling product of all time. Uh, image is everything. If we're going to get you promoted to trade prints, no wait, profits are everything. Explosions are a close second, then image. Um. Meg's Dread Shredder in marketing. What a name for a marketer. Was asking for you something about your new ride. She's right outside the building to the left. Okay. To the left. No? Did I miss her? Oh, I did. Oh, she's not right outside of the mat uh, to the left. She's right out in front. Good grief. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Meg's Dread Shredder. What a name for a marketing rep. There he is. I think you're going to like this. Streaming, you're uh, about to host the corporate party to end all corporate parties. My research says that if you're having a good time at the party, your promotion quotient will skyrocket and explode. So with that in mind, might I suggest that you take your new company hot rod out for a spin. Go pick up your friends. Just remember uh, me on the way up when it comes together and you're the new trade prince, right? Don't be a stranger. Okay, use the keys to the hot rod. So I've got this thing. See? Company car. So I go pick up some friends of mine. Uh, 
I think. There we go, there's Izzy. This is one of the weird parts about being a goblin. I just never, I, I don't know. I thought it was very strange. They have highways around their town, see? Oh god. Oh, I'm, I'm off-roading it. There's Gobber. Gobber is the guy that ends up following you uh, around uh, for the rest of your kind of hero career. And he becomes your banker. He helps you keep keep storage, uh, helps you store stuff, basically. Is he Gobber and Ace? I mean, it's pretty awesome. You can fit four people in this thing. <laughs> I wish they'd let you keep it, but they don't. Love that horn. Okay, I need to figure out how to get up. I think it's over here. Trade Prince Gallywix. I hear about a party. Hey, I wasn't invited. No, you weren't, Gallywix. Is this the right way? <laughs> I don't know where this is taking me. This is not the right way. Okay. We're off-roading it now. Let's go back through here. Dun -dun -dun. Uh. Dun -dun. Am I going to get it stuck? There we go. Yep, you can hit people with it. It's pretty awesome. Excuse me. Coming through. I think it's over here. God, it's like DFW. <laughs> uh, I have not actually been inside Dallas proper since I've been a driver, like an adult. Last time I went as an adult, uh, I was driving around out on the outskirts of town. So, never been inside DFW. Only around it. Well done, sir. You look uh, very good riding around in Hot Rod. I'm sure you made quite an impression on the citizenry. Yep. Streamio, Coach Crosscheck is looking for you. He's the leader of our fearless foot bomb team. They have sports. Uh, the Bilgewater Buccaneers. Coach Crosscheck's over here. Whoosh! Ah. Oh God! I'd rather deal with LA traffic at rush hour than drive around DFW. Wow, that's bad. I'm gonna take a hard left hairpin. It's got a radio. Okay. Don't waste my time. Quick, no time to waste. We need to get one of these shredders back in working order. My guys are all around, on the injured roster. Our shredders are all kaput. The ref is about to call the game. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm looking for parts. Replacement parts. I'm actually gonna. So I can do that real quick. All my friends hop in. Uh. I need to keep an eye out for replacement parts. Huh? 
My car can jump. Okay. Man. Come on, guys. We need to scour for parts. I'm, oh, that's a dead end. We can't go back there. Come on. But, um, football time. Football <laughs> for orcs and goblins. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm looking for spare parts for Chris, Coach Crosscheck. Okay, there's a pair of levers there. Levers. I'm just uh, hunting for parts. Not really sure what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm assuming I will know the parts when I see them. Let's go over here. Is there any parts over there? No. Some goblins. Some rockets. No spare parts. Aha! Here we go. Spare parts. Big suspicious looking crate. Naturally. By the way, remember, who, who remembers the pod races from... Here's another one. Who remembers the pod races from uh, uh, episode one? Uh, Star Wars The Phantom Menace. You remember? The two two rockets with the ropes tied to them, and there was a, a thing being trailed behind them. You remember those? They do that in World of Warcraft. The goblins do that. So yeah. By the way, there are some really good Blood Bowl games that I would love to get, but they kind of only play real well with um, other people. Um, you see, just need to see if I can find a good cheap one that people in the community could buy. You know, like ten bucks or less. We could have some Blood Bowl tournaments. I think that'd be fun. It's me, though. Okay, let's go look for some other spare parts to borrow. I do not see one of the big crates around here. Dun, 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 dun. Aha! Okay, so there was probably somebody like another player just in front of us going around collecting parts and they were getting them. We got four. We need two more. Anybody? Nope. Yeah, there's one. That's five. Um, and there's six. Dun dun dun. See, this is what I'm talking about. You have one thing being pulled by two rockets. It's crazy. Okay, let's go get the shredder activated again. Makes sense. That's my boy. Now get to one of those uh, useless hunks of metal in working order and get it into game. Um, kid, I need you to get in that shredder and give him heck. Okay. Oh, that went one into the audience. Yeah. 
There we go. Necessary roughness. You did it. Now all we need to do is score the goal and the title is ours. Um, is it good? Here we go. Oh, that's Deathwing. Uh, guys. That's Deathwing. What did the dragon do to Mount Kajaro? Um. Quickly, quickly. You really did it. We won the game, and uh, I'd celebrate with you, but it looks like that dragon did a number on old Mount Kajaro. I, I think I'm going to grab my stuff and get on the first ship leaving oh, the island. Go. Oh, okay. Everybody in the ride. I'm getting to regret promoting you. Yeah, get out of the way. Do not lose your car. Yeah, I've got my car. And pull onto the... Is that Yeah, that's where we gotta go. Speed boost! So, apparently the Dragon Deathwing just came through and um, cratered our... Did something to Mount Kajaro. Uh, boop. Okay. Sassy Hard Ranch, executive assistant. Hey there, boss. I trust you're enjoying the new promotion. We all think that you're the one who's going to finally be able to replace that stinky old Gallywix and take the title of Trade Prince, but you didn't hear it from me. Uh, we have to do a lot in very little time. Um, you're kidding, right? Deathwing? It was Deathwing. Sassy looks panicked for a moment. Okay, this will work out just fine. We'll throw your party, and by the time it's over, I'm sure that the dragon will be long gone and the ground will stop shaking. If not, we can always charter a ship off the island. Oh, God. We need to send a message to several deadbeats, of course. They're hiding out in Drudge Town, the scum. Sassy rifles through some paperwork. I have all the names right here. Might I suggest a little personal personal visit? A couple of strategic beatdowns. We'll send a message to the other debtors and your competition. Streamio is not a goblin to be trifled with. Off, Apparently, I'm roughing people up. Waste my time. You're ready for the party? No, I know. Uh, you know I love you, right? Off to the bank. Oh, that's her. That's a. Oh, her name's Candy Cane. That's weird. Don't look at me like that. You uh, want to look your best. Don't you want to look good for me? I'm your girlfriend, after all. Make sure you swing by the bank first and pull out plenty of macaroons. Don't buy any of the cheap stuff. Uh, okay. On your way. Right. Uh, I have no clue what that's about. I didn't know I had a girlfriend, apparently. Um... Is the mountain, like, smoking or anything? Okay. I, I don't know what happened to the mountain. A dragon flew over it and did something to it. Okay. So we're going to hop back in a ride real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Eviscerate. Oh, I got a new ability. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I'll explore that later. Um, I probably have some business I need to take care of. Whoops. She's everyone's girlfriend. Yeah, I, I wonder. It also makes me wonder, if you roll up a girl character, is Candy Cane still there and your girlfriend? Or is it changed to a dude? Do they assume? Do they not care? I wonder how that works nowadays, you know? I'm going to drive over here. Wow, there's some big factories, man. Woof. The goblins have taken over this island.
Yeah, they make this stuff called Kaja Cola, which is a refreshment and industrial explosive. Um, I, I yeah, I don't know. Let's go here. Is he? Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. We're going to walk, guys. Come on. Get some exercise. Go into here. Dun, 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 dun. There's the deadbeat. Bruno Flame Retardant beaten down. Darn, you got me. Uh, okay. We taught him a lesson. I think these are people that owe me money. I'm a little fuzzy on the details. Um, uh, uh, aha, uh -huh. Sudzy McGee. Not the face, not the face. Uh, okay. Okay, there's the next one. Jack the Hammer. Can't go around there. Gloop, 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 gloop. Let's do some swimming through tar. Or oil, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> yes, we're a goblin street gang, uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. I'll fire off my rocket at him. And one more we gotta deal with. Frankie Gear Slipper. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. <laughs> what? Fine, fine. I'll pay my protection moolah to you goons. You. Oh, there's Kaja Cola like all over the place. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I have to keep those. Kaja Cola gives you ideas, TM. One second cooldown. Torin Paladins! Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Oh, okay. Unpaid overtime is approved for all. Um. Speak with uh, FBOK bank teller. First Bank of Kazan, I think. Okay, let's get back in the ride. The hot rod. Nope, not going that way. Excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Hi. What's shaking? Oh, it's you, sir. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first with all the commenters milling about. Um, I'm gonna get a stack of macaroons out, literally. Smackaroons or macaroons. I can't remember. Yeah, 10 stack of macaroons. Okay. A new outfit, you don't say. Uh, well, happy shopping. Swindle Street has some of the best bargains. There we go. Uh-oh. The ground is shaking. Is it... It's not a volcano, is it? It's right up there. I, I, I don't see lava or smoke. It really cleans out the digestive tract. I'm quite sure. Probably cleans out the rest of you, too. Okay, we're going to go see if we can find ourselves some duds. <laughs> Drive, you maniac. Clother. I need an, uh, a hip new outfit for the party I'm throwing. Oh, just look at what Zazbo, uh, Zabo has done. A masterpiece. You're not worthy of such an outfit, but Zabo needs the money. Sigh. Move it. K 
Okay. And then we're going to go down here. I think this is the place. Gappy Silvertooth. What's this I hear about a party? I wasn't invited. Set me up with the fattest, shiniest bling you got. That bling is fat like your mama. Move it. That sounds bad. My mother is not fat. Thank you very much. Um, na, na, na. Uh, me, uh, Missa Speckies Shades Pot Peddler. I need some cool shades. What do you got? What will two stacks of macaroons get me? Here you go. Best pair, and I'm giving them to you cheap. You gotta look sharp in them. Okay. So now. All hail the greatest trade prince on Azeroth. Me. <laughs> Uh, I'm full of myself. I'm full of something, aren't I? Now we go back over to the party. I think I get to wear my outfit. I'm not sure. Yep. Come this way. Out of the way. Woohoo! <laughs> Going up here. Hop out. Yep, what do you want? Keep your ear to the ground. Quickly, quickly! Do you have it all? I can't wait to see it on you. You're going to look so fine, but not as gorgeous as me. You're going to replace a trade prince any day now at the rate you're going. The road. Big shot, huh? Sassy! Uh, complete success, success, if I do say so myself, your debtors will think twice about not Don't paying up. Anything. Level up again. Candy cane. Oh, oh, God. Is that the outfit? Oh, my gosh, babe. Everyone is here. Who cares about the stupid dragon? Oh, my God. This is my outfit. Wow. Those are some shades. I, I the, the shoulder pads are... I'm going to leave them on. They look, they look, I look amazing. Now I'm going to go over here and I think this industrial sewage spill off area has been converted to a pool. Yep, same. Party goers. Uh, What? Party goers entertained. Quickly, quickly. What? What's up? How do I entertain people? A little fuzzy. Go, go. What? Uh, life of the party. Oh my gosh, everyone. <laughs> We set up the party around the pool. Sounds like they're having a great time. You're going to look so good. Why don't you head over to the pool and keep everybody entertained? I'll join you in just a moment. I have to slip into something even more amazing. I don't know. Okay, there's a waitress. Go, go. Got the best deals anywhere. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, here are my friends. Ace, Gobber, and Izzy. Oh, it's a tiny disco ball and a spring in a box. You can see the circle, the dots circling. That's funny. I could really use a refill on my drink. Okay. I'm going to go over here. Nope, that's like the pool shack or something. 
I think I'm supposed to get refreshments for people. I got what you need. Um, you can't do that right now. Okay. Don't waste my time. Want some hors d'oeuvres? Om nom nom. This stuff sells itself. Bigger than the tra trade street mobbed on. Dive into the pool. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not. I can't interact. Oh, here we go. Casia Cola, but I can't do that right now. Um. Oh, I'm a pretty quick, pretty quick swimmer. Okay. Um. Is your favors and powers of persuasion? My what? I don't have any party favors. Oh, wait a minute. I do. I have special abilities. Bubbly. A bucket. Okay, I need a bucket. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, I get it. Okay. They give you special abilities that you have to use. What? Um bubbly you have to figure out what they want somebody over here wanted to see fireworks are there more hors d'oeuvres how you doing have some hors d'oeuvres got it i ain't getting paid to chat i need a bucket the dizzy people uh need buckets so they can barf where are the hors d'oeuvres Get a band playing, right? Are there more hors d'oeuvres? What's the word on the street? Oh, that party goer wants more bubbly. What's the word on the street? Um, have some more d'oeuvres. I could really quickly, use a refill. What's shaking? This goblin is all partied out. Um. What? Oh, that's all ten. There's ten people. Okay. I'm going to go over here, back to the uh, office. Dun, dun, dun. Talk to Sassy Hard Ranch. Well, spit it She's out. not in her outfit yet. Very well, nicely done. The party appears to be a smashing success. Um, oh gosh, pirates. What? This gig ain't so bad. Pirates? Oh geez, pirates! You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Super dead. I'm just going to grab some drinks for the road, you know? Oi, get off the motorcycle. Slash! I hate these guys. The chuckling noise. <laughs> the hyenas. Oh. I'm hoping we can actually I need to get totally off the island and uh, finished with the newbie zone by end of today. Also, I'm not going to be playing this character off stream. I might log into him and uh, move him or double check some things, equipment, but otherwise. Um, okay. I am helping to subdue the pirate. 
The party crashers, yes, exactly. We're gonna run uh, over here. No loitering. That seems bad. That was close, unfortunately. I'm the bearer of some bad news. Please don't shoot me. While you're dealing with the pirates, I noticed trade plant the trade prince slip upstairs. He he's up on the balcony at the top of the stairs. I think he's the one that sent the pirates. Sassy cringes. You better get up there ASAP. I wouldn't you want to keep him here. waiting. You can make it. I hate Trade Prince Gallywex. The guy's a dick. Here we go. Hi, Gallywex. You gotta do better than that. I'm hurt and disappointed. You didn't send me an invitation to your little party out there. Sorry about the crashers. You know how pirates can be. Shall we get down to business? Uh, what was that? Extremely ambitious young goblins. Uh, maybe a little too ambitious for your own good. I see a lot of myself in you. Uh-oh. Proposition, you might have noticed that Mount Kajiro is exploding thanks to the dragon. Everyone in Kazan is going to die. But if you bring me a bazillion macaroons before my... My yacht leaves the island. I'll make sure you're one of the lucky few to escape. If you want to live, you better hurry and figure out how to get me hey, my moolah. Gotta get to my lobe oh, massage yeah. appointment. Lobe massage appointment. Oh, God. Um, I think we're doomed. I think we're doomed. Come on, sassy. Smart mouth, huh? A bazillion macaroons. Where are we going to get that kind of money? Um, all of your assets have been frozen in the first bank of Kazan is out of business? Crack the vault and retrieve your personal riches. Okay. Quickly, quickly. There's only one way we're going to get a bazillion macaroon stealing from the rich. Obtain Maldi's Falcon. Oh, the Maldi's Falcon. Maldi's Falcon. The Goblin Lisa and the Ultimate Bomb. On your way. Okay. Oh, there's some other quests, too. Hang on a sec. Meg's Dread Shredder. Spit it out. Do you run over hired looters and get their loot? Use your hot rod to run over 12 hired That's looters. A good one. Okay. Seems a bit excessive. And there is a quest around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. The foreman, Dampwick. Right, the guy we helped to start. Okay. Don't waste my time. We need uh, tons of moolah to pay the trade prince and get off Ka uh, Kazan. Uh, well, tons of it is just waiting for the taking down there in the mine. Oh, okay. Is he part Ferengi? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, he actually... The goblins are kind of... I, I think... The Ferengi from Deep Space Nine were... What? Okay, fine. I will fight you. You gotta fight these people. Okay. Pick up chunks of Kajamite. Take him with us. Three chunks. Was there another one over here somewhere? Nope. Okay. We're going to go deal with this. So Kajimite's super valuable and used in tons of goblin products. I'm guessing we are stealing this to take it and bribe the uh, trade prince with it, among other things. Okay. Yeah, the low comment is what made me thinking of that. I think that... uh. DS9 Ferengi were inspired by goblins and goblin stuff and a lot of other fantasy games because the whole goblins being underhanded and conniving and, you know, whatever, 
and being greedy, that goes back a long ways before DS9. I think the Star Trek writers just kind of borrowed it and sunk it into the Ferengi and turned the Ferengi into that. So I kind of think the Ferengi are inspired by the goblins, but that's my theory. Oh, God. This volcano is going to blow. Uh, okay. Who knew we were living on a volcanic island? I didn't. Okay. I've got chunks of Kajamite. Let's get the heck out of here. I can't see the whole mountain. Too many factories in the way. So, yeah. I, I do think the Ferengi from DS9 were inspired by goblins. Um, oh, no, skip. There we go. What? That's a fortune you have there in your bags. Okay. Now we're going to go run over some looters and get more money. <gasps> dum, dum, dum. Let's get the looters. <laughs> Woohoo! We're hitting loads of goblins in the progress, but eh. Omelette, eggs, something, something, you know. Go down here and check for more. Can't believe we're running over people. Oh, hey, look, it's a gas station. Isn't it nice? I mean, it's all on fire and horrible, but... Eh. Okay, awesome. We're going to go over this way now. Now we're going to go hit the bank, I think. Hey, it set me on fire. Let's go see. Use uh use what is called for in your go uh, goblin all in wonder belt. Once it reaches one hundred percent, doing the wrong thing at the wrong time will reduce the progress bar. Good luck. Oh my god. Okay. Um, that's number two. That's number two. Uh, that's number five. What the heck? Three. Four. One. Uh, no, that was wrong. Four. It's just freaking hard. Okay. Um. Dynamite. Uh, five. Last crackers. Do this. We're almost there. Come on. Yes. You have your personal riches. Woo. Okay. Then I think we have to... Um, 
okay. We have two, uh, three other items. We have to get Maldi's Falcon, the Goblin Lisa, and the Ultimate Bomb. I have to find the road over here. Oh, this is Gallywick's place. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Okay. I'm using an illusion to walk around and pick this stuff up. Uh-oh. Ah. You get far enough away and it'll reset. You gotta avoid the hogs. Apparently. It's good to know. The pigs can sniff you out. Okay, now we have to go up to the main house and steal the Maldi's Falcon. And fire does make it better, Cougars. You're 100% right. Kazan Socialites. I think it's upstairs? Jeez, this is a big house. Yeah, oh, God. Maldi's Falcon. This seems bad. I hear a lot of screaming. Uh-oh. Somebody's already leaving in a blimp. This fireball's coming down. Oh, this is bad, man. Get away from the pig. Nope, nope, nope. Two, one. Whee! And we're gone. Yeah, I love that horn. Fire makes everything better, says Birdcraft. 100%. Apparently fire and shovels. What point in uh, Jurassic Park are you at? Did you finish it? Oh, God. The hot rod has burned down. Oh, okay, there we go. I must have overheated it or something. I bet Gallowix is going to already be gone. I bet. Slinky, come here. Don't waste my time. Got the goods. Yep. Wow, these are worth the fortune. Um, I just hope the trade prince doesn't notice uh, them when you hand them over with the rest of your wealth. Doesn't notice that they're his, basically. Can I help you with something? Did you get the riches? I did. And you've been... Um, Boss, this isn't nearly enough. All right, choose your reward. Um, Mace, yeah, sure, why not? Security, enforcement, extortion, we do it all. I think I'm going to lose this here in a minute. Uh, okay, Meg's yeah, Dread Shredder. Yeah. You able to get a whole bunch of stolen loot? Yes. Wow, you really did it. Well, they had it coming, Be I guess. Warrior Matic Mark One. I get no respect around here. We still don't have enough macaroons, but I've got a plan. We're going to collect on the headquarters insurance policy. 
Do not get on Gally Wix's bad side. Uh, what? Okay, we're gonna go and oh, overload the generator and cause the whole place to go up in a ball of fire and then collect on the insurance and pay off Gallywick with it. Leaky stove. Place is packed full of explosives. Um, drop a cigar on the flammable bed. There we go. There's a balloon drenching gasoline on a... Okay, that's a bit much, I think, folks. Can you go over here? Headquarters going up a ball of flame! Yes, there you go, gas bot. Oh God, okay. Wow. I think some of those were fireworks. I'm not sure. Claims adjuster. Oh, go. This is nothing. You should have seen Bilgewater Port. The whole thing is going up in flames. Fine, fine. I don't have the time to inspect this place. Here's the moolah for the, from the Bilgewater Cartel's insurance policy. I've got to find a way off this island. Oh, Good luck. Way. And I'm now level six. It's my way for the We've got high. all the moolah that we need. There's only one thing left to do now. Get you to the Trade Prince's yacht. You ever need anything, you know where to find me. Um. <gasps> time to motor. Man, this place has gone up in flames. If it's worth a ding, it's worth overdoing. Oh, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, yeah. Yes, you got 100%. Boing. <laughs> Who is... That's a big... Uh-oh. It's a pile of hot rods. We're going to have to go around. we got to make it to the port. Excuse me, coming through. Last chance, yacht border. Time, money. <laughs> uh, it's you. What an unexpected surprise. Congratulations, you just made it. I see that you brought me all that I asked for, including your hot rod. Uh, Trade Prince flashes an evil grin. The Brazilian macaroons couldn't e uh, have been easy to come by. I'm now the wealthiest, most powerful goblin on all of Azeroth. Too bad for you that I'm changing the terms. You're now my slave. Get below deck and take a turn shoveling coal. Next stop, Azeroth. Ugh. Oh, this guy's a jerk. There goes Kajaro. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's Gallywick's yacht. We were supposed to have these stupid slaves to Kalimdor days ago. I'm not taking the fall for this one. You're the one who got us lost. What does it matter? Gallywick's is gonna have both our heads. Shh. Did you hear that? Whoopsie! Ah! That's an alliance ship on the over. Are they? It doesn't matter. 
Our orders are to capture the Horde target at all costs. No witnesses. That worries me, dark creature. Stupid Alliance! Gear Grinder Gizmo! So here we are. What are you doing just sitting there? Don't you recognize who that is laying next to you? That Streamio is the whole reason we're breathing and not crispy fried critters basking on Kazan. Streamio? Sorry, Doc. I thought he was dead. I hope, uh, I hope these wet jumper cables don't kill us all. Oh God, zap. Come on, clear. Zap. Ah. That's all I've got. Uh, it's up to him now, you hear me? What's up? Come on, snap out of it. Catch you on the flip side. Quickly, quickly! I'm sorry, I thought you were dead. That was just crazy. We sailed into a fight between the Alliance and the Horde. You know, our brothers and sisters still need to be rescued. Uh, he points at all the escape pods in the water. Um, I think I'm going to sit here a while longer and catch my breath. Can you swim around and let them out? Thanks. Take my gear, uh, my pair of thermohydric flippers so you can get around faster. What? Go, go! Uh, Thermohydric flippers. Okay. Uh, no, nope. that's a horrible weapon. I have some pineapple punch. Okay. And I still have some Kaja Cola. Hey, um, I'm going to say ignore. Uh, ignore this bag. The Lost Isles. Okay. Oh, Turbo. We'll let them out. Hello there. So nice of you to rest. Ah, that was Gallywick. Right. Dang it. Goblin survivors. Mm -mm -mm. And there's sharks. Oh, hello, Mr. Shark. Let's motor. Dum 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 okay. I've rescued a lot. Yeah, Dark Perch says it seems that the Warframe devs are working on a Lord of the Rings game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have mixed feelings about that, honestly. I think that they're really good at Warframe, but they are so absent-minded in terms of like just handling their own IP. I dare think, and they, they are horrible at planning out lore, which I guess maybe Lord of the Rings would be good at because the lore should already exist unless they're making a game in some other part of the world that's not popularly explored like earlier or later and they would have to make some of the lore now they would still have to get approved by the Tolkien estate and whoever runs it right now but so that's good they couldn't just wing it but they're really horrible at planning out planning out lore and storyline they're not really good at planning out an actual roadmap of features and how they're going to implement things. They just wing it and stick stuff in as it gets finished. And I'm, uh, I'm not sure I want to see somebody do that to the, Lord, to the Lord of the Rings franchise. Sassy made it. 
expect around here. Goblin survivor, goblin. Okay. Thank heavens you survived. I thought that, I uh, thought for sure that you drowned when I saw you go over the side. Uh, eyes tears up as she hugs you. Aw. Um, look at all of these folks you saved. Okay. Our bombs and tools, these sneaky monkeys to the east, stole all of them in the dead of night. Fuck my head off, why don't you? We need all our bombs and tools to survive in the desert. Okay. Innkeeper. Go! Go! I want Careful. to make this in my home, apparently. Quickly! Quickly! What can I do at an inn? Yeah, well Down rested. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, there's like a, a zone around that guy. Okay, so I need to log out near him. Always get a log out near... Okay, there's a working mailbox. Stable master. Slightly damp salvage. Oh, this is where I can repair my stuff. Sell off all the crap I'm not going to use. Um, Gobber and Izzy survived. Bandage trainer. This is interesting. GTL, friend. Gambling, tinkering, laundry. They're adding races in places that have not been in the movies, and it's set before the Elo, um, Lord of the Rings times. Yeah, see, that worries me. That, that means they're having to improvise their own stuff and get it approved by the, by the, uh, 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 the Lord of the Rings masterminds. Uh, tailoring. Okay, bandage making got rolled into tailoring now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I know um, when I see one. I, I have something to drink. Warrior trainer. Slinky sharp ship. Wait a minute. She was my go, go. Ra rogue trainer. Wait a minute. What? Quickly, quickly. Uh, just keep an eye out for those monkeys. Okay. There's a little bit of a set settlement going on. A warlock trainer. I don't see go goblin warlocks. It's not a thing. I see goblin uh, shaman. Goblin mages. I'm going to think about this. I see a lot of goblin hunters. I think that's a thing. Uh, and I see a fair amount of goblin warriors. But I, I don't see goblin warlocks. That's interesting. Yeah, hunter trainer. Don't waste my time. We've got major problems. The monkeys in the jungle to the east. They've stolen all our explosives. And now we're going around throwing them at us. Um, sometimes at us. I had fizz, fizz lighter take some of this nitro and put it in these bananas. No monkey can resist a bunch of bananas. All you have to do is go out there and feed them. Oh, God. I have explosive bananas. This is why people like making goblin um, a shaman because their totems look totally different from everybody else's. It's not a wooden stick. It's a, a mechanical thing, which I think is actually more interesting. Go. Um, look at these monkeys stealing anything. Those little th thieving little monsters have driven the terraptor. Uh, the Terraptor matriarch into a frenzy by stealing her eggs. Worse yet, the eggs have started to hatch. We've got hungry Terraptor hatchlings all around the place looking to make a quick meal out of us. Uh, oh, God. Okay. That sounds bad, all right. Bilgewater Buccaneers. Don't waste my time. Oh, he's a football Careful player. Foot bomb player. Mage trainer. That is a big turtle. Okay. And then we've got Terraptor Hatchlings slain. I wish I had a ranged weapon. I really do. I got a rocket. Hello. I'm I'm above the curve because I'm using um you stupid monkey. into orbit i just sent a monkey into orbit oh that's priceless oh my god that is awesome oh being a goblin goblins are dumb in the best way possible um crates of tools i don't have my keys to the hot rod anymore but i got my chauffeured motorcycle whoa you thought to take my place on gazelle oh wait a minute Oh, broken bloodstained bow. Were being the operative word. Staff. Eh. Nothing now. Nothing. Trade Prince Gallywix yells. Oh, that's that was Gallywix. There goes another monkey. Woohoo! Oh, this is awesome. Monkey to the moon. Watch this. 
Bomb throwing monkey. No, come back. Watch this. Watch this. This is great. I'm going to feed him. Woo! Watch him go! That monkey is gone. Oh, no, he's coming back down. He is quite dead. Okay, never mind. Um, he's... Uh, I can't use the I can't use the explosive bananas on the rafters. I'm doing a lot of damage for. Uh, have a banana. Boom! What? Who? Monkey threw a bomb at me. No, you come here. I need to feed you. It is not a bomb. Okay, it was maybe a bomb. Maybe a little bomb. Come here, you. There's another monkey. Have a banana. Woo! Okay. Awesome. Here's another banana. <laughs> that never gets old. Wait, wasn't that a robot chicken skit? What? Seems the Warframe company is working with an unnamed partner. Ah, okay. That's good. That's actually really good. Um, if the war, if, if the um, um, digital extremes are the people that make Warframe, and if DE is is working with somebody else, that somebody else is the pr production company, and basically digital extremes is doing all the grunt work. So somebody else will be handling the overarching, uh, overarching, uh, you know, coordination of what goes in where, development, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and uh, that's a, that's a good thing because they badly need help on that front. Uh, I need more crates. I think I see one over here. Nope, oh, I see one right here. Ah, no, I don't like how you run. Jeez, I'm doing a lot of damage. Uh, more raptor. Honestly, don't need to kill any more of these things. I don't think. Whoop. Yeah, okay, I don't need to really kill any of those. Kill them in self-defense and then you hunt them down. Monkey! You eat that banana! Yeah! Explosions! Just going through the forest. Monkey! Banana, banana! There he goes. That's the last monkey. I got the last crate. Got the last raptor. My job is done here. I can go turn these in. Hashtag RPG Misc Sharpie. Oh, where can I post a clip? I made the money. Uh, made the money into orbit clip. What? Oh, the monkey into orbit clip. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, found it. Robot chicken. Crazy monkeys on landmine island. Quickly, quickly. Move okay, it. that is level seven. This is because I have heirloom gear. Careful out there. Monkey handler gloves. All right, just what I needed. Yep, that's an upgrade. Everything else garbage. Uh, let's go back here. Oop. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. So yeah, uh, the reason I'm leveling so fast is because of heirloom gear. If you notice, it says on the tooltip there, equip. Experience gained is increased by 10%. And it's increased by another 10%, another 10%, another 10%. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, I think, percent, maybe. And then I've got uh, this thing, which gives a... I can do void tendrils, which come up out of the ground and do combat on something. It's a good kind of like you can start fighting stuff higher level than you. I'm probably not going to use it a whole ton, but it is handy. I've got it on my bar down here. So you go whoosh, and tentacles come up and start helping you. Um, really handy. Uh, and then these weapons. Uh, this one, your melee attacks have a chance to trigger an extra attack. I don't know what the chance is, but anything better than nothing. And then this is just better. It's just an heirloom weapon. And then these will level up as I level up, and they'll actually increase their stats and their damage and their armor rating as I go up through the game. So, yeah. Um, slightly damp salvage. I have some stuff to sell you. 
That and that. Hey, Thank you. Do, 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 do. Let's go talk to Sassy Hard Wrench. Sassy Hard Wrench. Um, bomb throwing monkeys, the nerve. Sassy breathes a sigh of relief when she sees all the tools and bombs that you recovered. Great news, Foreman Dampwick has uncovered a cave full of Kajamite on the island. What are the odds? Of course, there's a downside. He took some of the survivors with him to help mine the ore, but none of them I have made it out. Anyone who's not with me can start looking for a new job. Crazy it sounds, the foreman said that there are monkeys in the cave with mining picks. They're mining the Kajamite. How's that even possible? Can you head southeast to the cave? Uh, the foreman is standing just outside the entrance. Okay. Oh, there's Gallywick. I want to get up close, show you Gallywick up close and personal, because he is a, a vile and contemptible goblin. Um, he is why goblins get a bad rap. Trade Prince Gallywick. There he is. Isn't he gorgeous? Woo! What a looker, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is just a big ship. Oh, my God. Turriptor Matriarch. Ooh, there's a giant raptor back there. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to... I'm just going to... Bloop. So I can park right here next to the innkeeper. What that means is I get boosted experience. You get what's called rested experience. So you earn experience even quicker the next time you log in if you logged out in an innkeeper. And the longer you stay logged out in an innkeeper, you can build up that buffer. When you combine rested experience with all of the heirloom gear that I've got that is giving me an XP boost, um, uh, then uh, time for me to go home. See you later. Bye, Red Sharpie. I have arrived for the end of stream, says Trunks. Hi, Trunks. Um, uh, but when you combine all of the rested XP and the heirloom XP that I'm going to be getting, I will be powering through levels quick. So it is going to be very tempting to just get up to the top end level of a zone and then leave. I want to stick around and finish out the zones, do all the quests, then go to the next zone. So there's going to be points where I'm going to be way over level for certain zones, I think. They're supposed to dynamically keep within my level range now. Some new feature from 1 to 60. I don't know. We'll see. We'll experience it. If that's the case, then it should be a little bit better about keeping pace with me and the content. <clears throat> First day of school was a success, says uh, Dragon Racer. That is awesome to hear. Zones don't have levels and limits anymore. Yeah, I, was, I, I know that it's supposed to be that way. I haven't experienced it personally, though, Trunks. So I'm curious how it's going to work now, needless to say. I'm going to be leveling up very, very quickly. We'll see if it keeps pace with me or not. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a new feature for me, and I have to... I kind of want to see how it's going to work. Um, okay. Though it does mean you'll hit 60 before you finish all the classic content. Right. So that's the thing. I'm probably going to hit 60 and then just dwell in the 60 to 70 range finishing out a ton of the classic content. It's probably what's going to happen. I'll hit 60 and it'll stop and then I'll keep going slowly from 60 to 75-ish as I finish classic content and get ready to go to Burning Crusade and then, wait a minute, what was it? Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, Cataclysm, Mists of Pandaria, Warlords of Draenor, Legion, and Battle for Azeroth. So, I mean, I've got a lot of content to go. So I'm going to be pecking away at old Streamio here on a regular basis. He's probably going to be my afternoon streams. Maybe one of my evening streams. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, you only get a half a story. So yeah. Yeah, Kata, Mist, Wad, Legion, BFA. Exactly. Oh, well, Burning Crusade. Oh, I think we all know who's really responsible for the mess we're in. Don't worry. I'm going to see to it that they get what they. He's talking about me. I, I hate Gallywick. I really, really do. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for tagging along. And uh, I will see you folks this evening, 8 p.m. Uh, Texas time. We're going to be doing some Heroes of the Storm again. And uh, we're going to be seeing what new heroes are up on the roster this week on rotation. Um, uh, I've got two more than two coins to rub together right now. I am tempted to just sink a little bit into gems and get a hero. don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'll catch you folks later. Have a good one. Uh, until then, do not forget, follow me on Twitter, uh, head on over to vagram.com and take a look over at the shop and whatnot. Uh, I've got a lot of merch over there, shop.vagram.com. 
uh, t-shirts. There's probably going to be some new designs coming out soon that I'm going to be working on uh, over the course of the next week or two because uh, I think it's going to be a good time to start getting some new designs in, retiring some of the old designs, and uh, maybe bringing a couple of the old ones out of mothballs, like the Capomancy shirt. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, if you if you have a particular design that I've done before that I don't offer now, and you would like to have that one come back, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. Otherwise, I'll see you folks later. Have a good one. Bye! Uh, you, oh, yes. Shad's a streaming drag, uh, but, uh, but uh, Dark Preacher is also winding up to stream as well. And he just returned to streaming. Um, if I remember right, let's see, let's see who's up. The preacher's not streaming yet. Um, yeah, he is. Okay. So I'm actually going to send you all over to the wonderful dulcet tones, Mr. Dark Preacher. Have a good day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.